All right, what's going on? Figured I'd just make a little walk around video showing off my 92 Toyota pickup. Uh, I've had it for seven years now. Uh, it was my daily driver back in high school. It's gone through a couple different little renditions and whatnot, but this is kind of what it's turning into right now. It's a bit of a mess and a bit of pieces, but uh, yeah, I plan on building this truck to race the my local race series, the TMR Off-Road Racing Series. I'll do a little walk around video and kind of show you guys what I got going on, what my future plans are with it. And I figured it'd be a cool little step to document and go back and, you know, 10 years from now and see how much further this thing has changed. So I guess I'll just kind of start at the front and work my way back. Obviously, it's missing a couple of things right now. Um, start off, I did the Trail Gear 3 Link kit in the front. Uh, it's got 2.0 Fox Air shocks that are currently not in it. Um, custom built engine cage. I did this, I don't know, four years ago. I just made some other changes to it and tried to, tried to dove nose the front end a little bit. Um, so this truck is set up for a 5EZ so 3.4, um, it's sitting on the ground over there. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, old first gen Toyota grill. So the front axle is a Toyota FJ, Land Cruiser FJ80. Um, RCV shafts, all plated, gusseted, knuckle, knuckle gussets, all the good stuff. So the steering on it right now um, is a single-ended ram, full hydraulic setup. I am gonna be going to a double-ended ram um, and moving my pan hard bar a little bit just for some clearance issues that I ran into trying to get a little bit more up travel out of it. It is not easy. Oh, I got a friend request. Um, it is not easy to uh, get a lot of up travel out of these things um, with, you know, a stock frame at the front. I don't want to just chop the whole front off. I don't want to chop the whole front off of my truck just yet. Eventually that's in the plans, but don't have the budget for that right now. So. This whole truck has been completely budget built out of like mostly used parts um, that you'll see. I've got 41, 41, 14 and a half inch uh, Super Swamper IROX on just some 18 inch Steelys that I had a body plasma cut these rings out and I just weld them on and had them powder coat them. And you might be asking, why would you do that? Well, because I got the tires, all four tires, 700 bucks. The rims were like 20 bucks on Marketplace. Uh, cost me a case of beer to get the rings cut out, weld them, bit of paint, bit of powder coat, and I don't know, it was the cheapest option for something that looked nice, I guess. Um, so yeah, fenders trimmed all the way up. Uh, we'll move over to kind of some of the interior stuff. Pretty dismal state right now. I've got it in my shop, just all kind of torn apart. Um, Corbo, I think these are like Baja XRS bucket seats. I got harnesses, all the little plastic bits are missing out of the seats. Uh, TMR quick release on the steering shaft. Just random aftermarket steering wheel. Built all the cage. Uh, that was two years ago I built the cage. No, no, I built the cage last year. I built the cage last winter. Uh, it turned out pretty nice. Everything that fits nice and tight. Looking back at it now though, I really wish I had have just gone ahead and done an XO cage on this, uh, just cause it's so tight for space in here. But yeah, there's not really a whole lot going on on the interior of the truck, but this is what I'm kind of most proud of is the back half. Um, so I'll start off, I did single triangulated four link in the rear with trailing arms. Uh, these are 14 inch, 2.5 King coilovers. Uh, no bypasses or anything like that. That costs a lot of money. I got these Kings for sale off Facebook marketplace. Got a good deal on those. Uh, so the back half kind of ties into the cage at the back. That was where I was originally gonna bring a tube through and just plans change, so I gotta weld the hole in my cab back up. Um, but all of the links and stuff, I designed and weld myself, all the powder coats flaking off it now. Uh, 
But yeah, and then full floater FJ80 rear axle, so nine and a half inch diff there as well. Uh, we got the fuel cell in the back. That was a marketplace find. I uh, built my own battery box, put my logo in it. The radiator is an eBay rad meant for a Firebird. Uh, my dad's building a Firebird. He accidentally ordered two rads, so I bought this one off him. So electric fan. It seems to cool this truck really, really, really well. I never have any heat issues with that now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on at the back. Same thing, 41 and 14 and a half inch IROX. Um, all the tubing is inch and three quarter DOM. Um, and then of course we get to the motor. So, so uh, I believe this motor came from a 2001 Forerunner. It's got somewhere around 160,000 kilometers on it. Uh, I don't know what the bald eagle conversion is on that, but yeah, it was fairly low mileage. Um, yeah, it runs good. Did all the wiring and stuff for the motor myself. Um, it's got JBA headers on it. They were a market, marketplace find. But the reason this truck's torn back apart um, is, and the motor's out is that I had some leakage coming from the rear main seal and my power steering crapped out. So uh, the, I, I've done the rear main seal on this motor now. Um, power steering, I'm going to be running a... So in Canada, we have Princess Auto. In the States, it's, I guess it would be Harbor Freight. So it's a Princess Auto, um, just a hydraulic pump that I'm actually gonna be mount, mounting on the front of the engine and it's gonna be crank driven. Um, so that should work a lot nicer with a double-ended steering ram. I'll get way better steering power out of this thing. But also, I was able to score a turbo. It's a cheap turbo, it came off a Honda Civic. Um, but because I have it and I have headers for that, I'm going to be cutting the driver's side, or sorry, the passenger side, uh, header flange off and then remaking my own turbo manifold for this side. Um, get an intercooler, blow off all that stuff because it's all sitting up on my shelf of parts. But, uh, yeah, that's the plans for this thing is that it will be, will be turbo 3.4. Uh, I'll get a little bit more travel out of the front. For this thing, I get about 21 inches of wheel travel from full droop to full bump. Um, I haven't jumped this truck yet because it is a little bit sketchy with the way my front suspension is set up. Um, I don't have bump stops in it. Um, once again, they cost money. It's been a slow build over the over the years, but uh, hopefully by the end of the summer, I'll have this thing up and rolling again. And uh, maybe, maybe, get some air with it i don't know we'll see but i just want to be able to drive the thing and enjoy it again but uh if anyone wants to see anything about the turbo process i, I can post it comment it'd be cool to maybe do some build update videos on this channel um and just kind of post what i'm building for this thing i guess it should be pretty fun when it's done uh i've also got a sway bar that's going in it because the thing has crazy body roll so yeah, it's the first truck I've ever built, so we'll see how it goes. Yep, yeah, thanks. See you guys.